Hey guys, Tom here from Hannay's Marine. Today I want to go through the all new Yardcraft 210 for 2024. 20 foot 6 inch boat, 97 inch beam, custom easy loader trailer that comes standard with it. This was their dealer demo boat for us down at the dealer meeting to take test rides in. So there's some options on here that I'll go through. First off, you have the trolling motor option, all new for 2024. You're going to have the aluminum handrails available on the bow and in the stern. On this particular 210, we're gonna have the very popular zip wakes on the back and the Bob's jack plate. New on this boat is the raised helm with the new Verilex windscreen on it. Let's jump in the boat and take a look around. Let's start off in the bow of the 210. Overall, the measurements that I get is we took six inches out of the bow of the boat and six inches out of the cockpit of the boat versus the boat's big brother, the 219. They did change some cool features on it, and we'll go through that now. First feature of the 210 I wanna show you is the spot for your foot pedal. Whether it be an Altrex, an Altera, there's a spot for that foot pedal that is actually grooved in. If you look down, you have this removable piece of starboard with C-deck on top of it, and this trolling metal foot pedal can just slide forward and come off and sit. Actually, it's in its own holder. And this can go back on top of it for a flush mount. Another feature on the new 210 is going to be your front end command center. You're going to have your trim, your nav lights, your battery checker with your voltmeter, a spot for your rod butts up here, and then ample space to mount dual graphs, a 15 inch flush. On this boat here, you notice we have a Solix 10 flush mounted with plenty of room around it. All right, let's look at the compartments here in the 210. Right in front of the consoles, what you can have is two coolers. Both coolers are gonna be the same size with drains. And in front of the coolers, You're gonna have ample storage. Everything is gonna have shocks on the lids. And then if you look into the compartments, you'll notice that there's a foam pad underneath there that protects all your gear. Okay, let's look at the cockpit of the 210. First off, you're gonna notice that we have sea deck everywhere in the boat. Bow, um, cockpit, top deck, kind of cosmetically throughout the boat. We'll look back here. On your massive 38 inch live well, lighted, recirced, optional oxygenator, storage on both port, starboard, plenty of room for planos, plenty of room for tackle. Also, spot for a rear seat or ski bar. Another feature on the 210 is gonna be your molded in cup holders throughout the boat, and then you're molded in tool holders throughout the boat, which people have really liked so far this year. Let's look at the console. The first thing you're gonna notice is this huge 15 inch Solix we have on this boat, flush mounted. It can fit up to a 16 inch screen or room for dual 12s. If you wanna put a mount there, Geiger Tech, fin gear, whatever you wanna do there, we can fit two 12s here pretty easily. We did fit a 12 and a 13 on the 219, but have yet to do this on this boat. Gauge package, you can have your Bob's jack tape gauge, your fuel gauge, oil pressure, and then your smart gauge. They did integrate the zip wake handle, flush mounted here. Some guys like that, some guys don't. If you don't want it here, we can also put it on a ram out for you. Switch panel, the switch panel that we've integrated into the 219 and it runs in all the bass cap boats is now standard on the 210. Another feature we like about the 210 console, both on the pilot and co-pilot seat, is your kicked out consoles. Makes this cockpit feel really big. Lots of room for your feet underneath without losing storage. Still tons of storage underneath there. And also you're gonna have your integrated cooler as well. So that's three coolers on this boat. Also, let's not forget the almost important rod storage copied right off of the 219. We're gonna have your 
eight rod tubes and then your hot rod sleeves up on top with your battery storage underneath. I measured this out at like eight foot three. So plenty of room for that. And then you can fit your real long rods on your port side rod box there. That can take 12 foot rods. You also notice for the all new 210 this year is going to be tackle storage underneath the starboard side console only not available on the port side console because if you look we put the net storage and the ruler here okay all right moving to the back of the boat what you're gonna notice is you got battery storage here room for two batteries underneath there if you decide to go with the house and a cranking battery and in the back you're gonna have huge storage underneath there for your Maybe your rain gear, your tackle, the stuff you don't necessarily need to always get at, but you want on your boat, you're not using your primary storage for that. And then on the starboard side, you can have your standard boarding ladder with a handle. And once again, underneath that, you're gonna have a lot more storage, usable space for stuff that necessarily don't always wanna get at, but wanna have on board. All right, guys, thanks for looking at the 210 with me. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call here, 612-781-7411, or email us at info at handaysmarine.com, or just comment below, and we'll do the best we can to answer your questions. If you want to come take a look at this boat, it'll be here as long as we have it until somebody takes it home, and we also have another one on order for stock. Thanks, guys.